I've sat down in a waiting room of a hospital after I've come out of an intense uh, situation or scene in the hospital and just written on the back of paper. I've written on notebook paper. If I ran out of paper, my notebook was filled. I've, gra I've grabbed like any kind of scrap paper I can find and written on that, written on the back of nursing sign and sheets, whatever, just to get it down. Two real important lessons I teach writers are write while it's fresh because things fade, the memory fades. And the other rule I have, David, is not only to write while it's fresh and recent, but I really tell writers to tell it to your keyboard first. There's a blog called Humans of New York, which you may or not have heard of. And I thought, so I called this Humans of North Philly. And we actually officially call it Neighbors of North Philly. I just thought it would be great to take the students out into the neighborhood, first years who come from all over the country. They're here in North Philly. Let's take them out into the neighborhood, get them to meet people in their environment. And they could be all different kinds of people and strike up a conversation with them, get them to build a relationship with you, a trust, get them to tell you their story, get their photo, just like the humans of New York, and then we'll come back and we'll do a blog. And it was the dean who said, let's do a gallery in the lobby. And so these are the people, students take the photos, they melt really fast, because how can you not love young people? The students are so earnest. Every year, class in the fall will go out and do it. And then we hang it in February and we invite the people in the photos to come in and have a little reception where they can see their picture in the lobby. And they're very touched to see them in this August building like that. And it's a great little party. Just so many different things we're doing, trying to all focus on the humanities and the human side of medicine. We do a lot of uh, narrative medicine workshops. And I just think to stopping for a moment and reflecting on what you do and, and listening to what your peers think and say is very community building. And my sense is that young physicians and students are so isolated and so uh, often frustrated by the many pressures they have and obstacles they have and just the nature of their work sometimes that taking time to reflect and stop makes them restored in a way and it's growing in all ways I, ca I can't even foresee but the whole goal is to just try to create a culture of stories and try to get people to get better at appreciating telling sharing stories so I think that will make them I hope happier more contented doctors I believe that stories have incredible power to heal, to inspire, to build community. And I feel like if I can get these young physicians thinking stories, appreciating their patients' stories, understanding what the elements of a good story are, learning themselves how to tell a story better, that will make them appreciate patient stories. And if they appreciate patient stories, they won't just think of patients as problems or another case or a kidney, but as an individual and, a, you know, and they'll care more and they'll be more satisfied as doctors because they will um, have relationships and, and it just will underscore the humanity and the dynamic which so often gets lost.